Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at a cryptocurrency hardware wallet called the Keystone Pro. We're gonna do an open box, we're gonna set it up, and we're gonna even connect it to Soulflare. So let's take a look. So the nice people over at Keystone had sent me this wallet to try out. It's one of the very few hardware wallets that you can actually connect to MetaMask and Soulflare. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and check it out. So the two boxes come inside. And you can see they have the tamper resistant tape on it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, open this up. The first box is gonna contain a battery and you also get a USB-C cable. Now this USB-C cable is for charging the battery and there's a battery indicator. White means charging, yellow means it's fully charged. So this is the tamper resistant tape. I'm just gonna pull that off and here it is. Let me just turn it around. And basically this device, this hardware wallet looks like a small cell phone. And uh, it's a fairly small device. You got the micro SD slot on the side where you can pop it in, biometric scanner and camera on the back. And at the top, you have your power button. And then we can see the battery pack that I can just pull out here. It holds four AAA batteries that you can put in and swap on the fly. And it's magnetic, so it just snaps in place. It's easy to remove it and then swap it for the lithium battery. So you also got the beginner's manual in the box. And then you have the cards for, the, for your seed phrase. You can jot them down and keep that in a secure location. We'll just peel off the protective film. And then I'm gonna swap swap out my battery and put the lithium battery in here. And this one has a smaller profile. It uses magnets, so you just have to drop it and it snaps in place and it holds pretty well. And we're just gonna power it on and we're ready to do the install. All right, so here we are. The first screen is allowing us to select the language and we have English set up. Now, before you even begin, you have to make sure you have at least 70% of your battery charged. Now, if you don't have that, you definitely wanna charge the battery before you begin. If any firmware updates are required, it's gonna ask you to charge it and you don't want that to fail in the middle of a hardware update. We're gonna click on the next option first. So we wanna head over to this URL and we have a few options here to select. I fully understand that the recovery phrase and seed phrase enables ownership of all my crypto assets in the wallet if it's lost or forgotten, all the crypto assets will be irretrievable. So we'll select that. You will be fully aware that you'll be writing this down and keeping it in multiple places. That's always recommended. And that we never ever want to share our recovery phrase with anybody. So we'll select that and then we'll click on next. So we wanna make sure that it is fully charged and we're good. And minimum is 70% because uh, if it requires a firmware upgrade, you wanna make sure you have enough charge. So that looks good. And we can go ahead and click on next. So I'm gonna click on, I'm ready to start. And it's gonna to wanna to scan this QR code. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan the QR code. We've scanned it. Looks like we have to type in the verification number. So that's been verified. Let's click on the verification over here. It looks like we're successfully synced. Click on done. I'm gonna click on success over here. And now we wanna set a password. Okay, so I have my password entered in here twice. I'll just tap on done. So I'm gonna create a wallet by clicking on the create wallet button. It wants you to enter in a password. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my password in one more time. Okay, so we're gonna create a wallet with a single backup. I have it already generated over here. I'm gonna make a quick screenshot. You don't wanna share this with anybody. Confirm, so we'll click on next step. And now we have to put them all back in. That is now done. And what I can do is click on confirm. And it's going to confirm the phrase and hopefully I put in everything correctly. Okay, so 5 of 5, the Keystone Companion app is installed. Web3, Polkadot, XRP tool, all that looks good. We can go ahead and click on confirm. And what I'm going to have to do now is create an update to make sure that I get the full functionality of this. And that's what I'm going to be doing next. I'm going to be updating my wallet. So I had some issues formatting my SD card. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm just going to do it within the device. So I'm going to go up to the menu, click on that. Then I'm going to go over to settings. Uh, we can go over to system settings. And inside system settings, we have the option over here called format card. So that's what I'm going to be selecting. Format my card. And it says, are you sure? And yes, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and click on confirm. And now it's going to format the card. That is definitely useful just formatting it right on the device. So we're gonna go back and now we can go ahead and do the update. So I'll link this in the description below if you wanna follow these steps. We're gonna be at the page for the Soulflare extension installation. We wanna make sure we prepare the device. And to do that, we wanna make sure we have the correct hardware. M-6.0 is the one that we want for Multicoin. 
and it's going to say, please visit us on GitHub. If you scroll down a bit, you'll see that the latest version that we have over here is M-60. That's the one that's supporting Solana blockchain and currently works for the Soulflare extension. So we'll scroll back up and we'll go to the GitHub page. And what we're going to be doing is scroll down a bit here and we're going to be selecting the Keystone-Cold-App. This is the one for the multi-coin. Click on that and you'll see over here on the right hand side, the latest release, which was four days ago, is the M-6.0. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to bring me to this page where I can download the zip file. So the zip file is right here. We can go ahead and click on it and it's going to download. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it onto my device. So I'm going to open this folder up. So we've opened it up and we want to go inside the folder for M-6.0. Double click on that and we'll have the update.zip file. We don't want to open this. We're actually just going to copy. We're going to copy this into our SD card. I just put that in my computer and here it is. Uh, this is a blank SD card. I'm going to take the update.zip and I'm going to copy it over and let that copy over. It's a very small file. Uh, there we go. So it's copied and now I can just eject it. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just close this window and I'm going to install it on my device. The SIM card is now in and it's asking me to update my device. I do have my recovery phrase, so I can go ahead and check that off. And now I can click on the update now feature and it's asking me for my password. So I'll go ahead and enter in my password. Now my password's entered in, the update is now gonna proceed. It might take a few minutes, I'll just jump over to the next part. Okay, and that part is now complete. You can go ahead and type in your password or use the fingerprint scanner. On the device, the device has now been updated. If we go over to the menu, we're over here on the left hand side and we go into the settings option down at the bottom you can see that we're using version m-6.0 so i'm going to go back into the main screen that's the one that we're going to need if we want to connect it to soulflare so we're at the soulflare extension website where you can create a new wallet and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the keystone wallet to connect to it right now and it's one of two available options on here for hardware wallets we're going to click on keystone it's going to want access to your camera. You got to make sure that you enable the camera. And now we have the option for Soul Flare. Now we didn't have that before. We're going to go ahead and we're going to select the Soul Flare option. And then we're going to click on confirm. We want to select the wallet and then we'll click on the confirm option up at the top. And you can see that we get this QR code. So this QR code, I'm going to bring up over to my Soul Flare screen. There we go. So it picked it up. That looks good. Here, I'll just select done. So back at Soulflare, I have the wallet now showing. I can check it and then I can click on continue. And now it's gonna ask me to set a password. So I'm gonna assign a password to this and I'll go ahead and I'll enter it in. And once you have your password in, you can click on continue. And yeah, if you wanna follow them on Twitter, you can go ahead. I'm just gonna say not now. And now we have my wallet set up. Now we have the options to send and receive. Now, if we had soul, I don't have any soul right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna send some soul into this wallet. I'll copy this address. So you get your QR code and you have a, an address over here where you can copy the address and paste it somewhere. Uh, so I've just pasted that and I sent it and here we go. So now I have a balance. Say we wanna send some Solana right now. I have a few dollars in this wallet as an example. We can go ahead and click on the send button over here and we can put in the amount. So I'm gonna send a very small amount, 0 0.05 and I need to put in my recipient address. Okay, so I have the address, I'm just gonna paste it in there and then I'm gonna click on send and now it needs verification so we're gonna click on the QR code right over here and it's giving me a QR code and what I want to do is I want to scan it so on my keystone wallet you can see the little scan icon up here in the corner I'm just gonna tap that and now it wants to start scanning the QR code so I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna point it at the screen and I have one and then I get the option to sign. So I'm gonna sign it and it needs to biometric scan. So I'm gonna scan my finger and that's done. And now once what it's gonna produce is produce a QR code where I'm gonna have to scan on my computer. So I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna show it. And there we go. That looks like it's done. It's confirming the transaction. Click on done here. If we go into the activity section over here, we can see that the send transaction has been completed uh, if you go over to the chain. So we can see over here on SoulScan that this, the transaction was successful and we've completed it. So that is how you use Keystone hardware wallet connecting to Soulflare, the Solana blockchain, and it allows you to do transactions using your wallet and browser. Now that is just how to use the Soulflare wallet, but obviously that is not the only thing you can do with the hardware wallet. You can also connect it to MetaMask in the exact same way and approve all your transactions using your hardware wallet and your hardware wallet is not touching the PC at all. So it's an excellent tool for that. You can also see that we also have Polkadot, 
XRP. And if you go over here into the menu up at the top and we select my keystone and in here you have other cryptocurrencies listed. Uh, let's use Ethereum as an example. You just have to select it. And in here we have our Ethereum wallet. When you select it, it displays your QR code as well as an address like you would with any other wallet. So you can give this QR code to whoever you want to, or you can provide the address and that's how you receive funds. And that process would be the same for all the other addresses that we have listed in here. The unique feature about the Keystone Pro is that you can actually connect it to MetaMask and SoulFlare and use it within your browser itself and authorize the transactions using the QR code like we did with SoulFlare. And you're actually not going to be connecting your hardware wallet physically to any device. You're just performing these transactions using QR codes. And that is the Keystone hardware wallet. If you found this video useful, please smash that like button. If you're looking for other guides related to this device or other devices, please subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in getting your hands on one of these, I'll make sure I link that in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.